If you're fairly new to the DJI drones and think the intelligent flight modes are just an unpolished gimmick, then you might want to test it out yourself, or check this out. I'm flying the DJI Air 2S with the DJI Fly app, and when I first started looking for the settings to get into Focus Track, I couldn't find it anywhere until I realized it's already there on the screen waiting for me. Simply draw a rectangle around the subject you want to follow, and it pops up three different modes to choose from. As of now, any of the intelligent flight modes are limited to 4K at 24 and 30 frames per second, and not the 5.4K that the drone is able to shoot in. 4K is perfectly fine for any video you're making, so let's make sure we have that set in the auto settings in the bottom right corner of our screen. Since the default selected is Spotlight, let's start out with this one. Now Spotlight mode lets you select any object on your screen by drawing a rectangle around it and then allows you to control all the flying while it takes over the camera and keeps your subject in the center of the frame at all times. This mode is like your own little cameraman in the sky and lets you focus on your flying. Spotlight mode works best when you're far away and approaching a subject or circling a subject from a distance, so you make sure the subject doesn't become too big for the frame. To the left of the spotlight mode, we have the ever so popular Active Track. With your subject selected, click on Active Track and two options pop up Trace and Parallel. Both of these work great for something like a solo hiking video, and both can be achieved using different heights and angles. Selecting Trace will have the drone follow behind the subject normally, but you can also position the drone in front of the subject facing it and have it fly in reverse while you're moving. Combining these two shots makes for a great sequence in your video. We can fly low and follow the subject as if a cameraman was following behind with a camera on a gimbal, or we can fly high and look down to follow and reveal the area you're in. I find that selecting parallel for Actor Track gives you a better viewing angle and a little more flexibility, allowing you to get more of yourself along with more background in your shot. Finally, we have point of interest, which can give you the most unique point of view of all. In point of interest, fly the drone to your ideal height and distance from your subject, then select your subject and adjust the speed you want the drone to circle at. After clicking on go, the drone will start to circle the subject, keeping it in the center of the frame as it flies around it. This is pretty cool, but the real magic happens when you select a moving subject and hit go. As you or the selected subject moves, the drone slowly circles above, giving a 3D view of the subject and the surroundings. This can be a great addition to any video. Some important things to remember when you're taking advantage of the DJI Focus Track features are don't forget to change your resolution to 4K at 24 or 30 frames per second. Make sure you hit the green go button right after you select the feature you're using because it does go away fast if you wait too long. Make sure you don't have any obstacles in the way when you're using any of the features that require the drone to fly sideways since the drone doesn't have any sensors on the sides. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that record button or nobody's going to be able to see all this cool footage you just got. Those were the three popular modes of the famous DJI Focus Track, featuring the DJI Air 2S and the DJI Fly app. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos featuring the intelligent flight modes of the DJI Air 2S. Now let's active track our way out of here.